Hello, my crafty friends. This is Lori Gurr on the Ridge. I have a video this morning of my first attempt at a traveler's notebook. I will say a traveler's junk journal because it's about 58 pages front to back. Um, it's eight and three quarters by four and three quarters is the cover. So the pages are a little smaller inside. I use um, Simply Jane paper. I forgot who made it. Uh, it was fun. It was challenging to try to keep it flat, and that didn't work. So it's kind of a junk journal. So we have the seam binding um, eyelet closure. Um, just a little rosette on the spine, and I left the paper. It was books, and I really liked the paper. I just made a um, an envelope out of an old book and some flowers. And actually, the envelope opens, and you can tuck in. There's some little note paper in there for a secret. So we will go in. Of papers, um, our variety, and just a lot of old music paper and grungy paper. I did three packets with the tickets, just ephemera. This was a picture from I think Tsunami Rose, and I backed it on. I want to say it was German paper. I'm not 100% sure, but. I just liked it. This is actually a cover that I absolutely loved off of a notepad. So I have, well, you'll see it in the back. I have the back and front that I just worked in. And I just did a little stenciling and just some pockets. And this is a little booklet. I gl glimmer misted out of book page and, or um, music paper and gesso. And a Rita Donnelly flip. And these are just some quotes out of the paper packet. And it's just, I left some empty paper because I know you're supposed to write in these. And just a doily with um, a little tuck, just a music card or um, ephemera, and a notepad index card. And I just sold on the music paper. And it's a little tuck in there. Here I just did a variety of little tucks in here. In there. And there's a tuck in there. And this one. Oh, I just glued the bag down. Well, that comes out. And that goes in there. And this is just a big tag. <clears throat> with some stenciling underneath. So let me bring them here. It's a little flip up flip down and this is a little envelope that I made stencil stamp another little flower and just some ephemera that tsunami rose another little flower I made with a flip up an empty paper a little packet with just some different ephemera and oh, I'm not even gonna try to name the names and this is um, paper I found. It was, um, I think it was like your family history, your tree. So that was kind of cool. And I just um, coffee dyed that. Little pocket I made, gessoed the paper. And just put some cardboard, a little beeswax, and a butterfly, and the word beautiful. Here's a little booklet I made out of book page and gesso and washi tape. And then this just flips up and over for writing. That goes in there, and then that hides that. And this is just, um, let's see, this flips up for writing. And then this just comes out for more writing. So I did leave lots of spaces for writing, and this will be listed in my Etsy shop. Um, just some ephemera and a tag. And a flip down. And a tag. And another little book page tag I made with another little piece of paper in there. And just the center. Just um, two flip ups. And just some little uh, writing paper. This, I believe, is from Artsy Maze. Um, just some paper from my stash. I just kind of 
tried to keep it simple. And just another piece. This is a um, Tsunami Rose. And another little, just a writing piece of paper folded. And this is just gessoed and stenciled. And there's a piece of paper in there folded like an envelope. Little packets. And plain. And just some more ephemera. This little piece of paper. Music paper. And then just a flip up. This is a packet I made with parchment paper and some old music paper. And there's a packet there, and then there's a packet behind there. Flower that's been beeswaxed and a flip up. This has also been beeswaxed. And um, just some ledger paper and some Nami Rose. And some music paper I made the banner out of. And some more of the record that you can write on. Oh, a bag. I forgot to put something in. Just a bag. Blessing bag. Coffee dye. And here's just a tags up there. And then I just made some tickets and a little... This doesn't flip up. It just um, <laughs> glued in there. And that comes out too. And I just did a little stamping. Here's a little packet I made. little Sue Olsen dress that I shrunk down. And just some fibers. Here's an envelope with some goodies in it. And it's just in some music paper. And then I put another little note writing thing underneath there. Just some paper, stenciled, a little stenciling. Or actually stamp, stamp, stamp. And that's the back of that book. And I just made a little pocket. And this is a... Book page, de decoupage, and gessoed. And then I just made a little kind of secret pocket in there for writing. And you can write on that. And that is my first traveler's notebook slash junk journal. It was fun. I got two more different sizes. I tried all three sizes. I'll be showing you along with some. I got three flower journals going. So hopefully everything will be done this week. So thank you for watching. Have a beautiful day and keep crafting.